In this video, I will talk about how to measure sunrise time and sunset time using a software Stellarium. Using this software, you can not only measure the sunrise and sunset of today, but you can also measure the sunrise time and sunset time any time, like even in the past or in the future. So I'm going to open the software Stellarium. This is you can download this software from internet. It's a free to download. So once it is downloaded, first thing you have to take care of is the location. Make sure that this is using your current location. Here, as I'm in Odisha, it is measuring my current location. And the time is, this is the current, current time. And if it is not showing you the current correct time, what you can do, you go to the location window and then make sure that you have the name of the Odessa city and the time zone is America, Chicago. And once it is a half, then you can measure the sunrise and sunset at your current location. So make sure that this is all this latitude, longitude or this Odisha and the time is in the set in the correct format. Okay, now this is how does the sky look right now. So if let me now look at where the sun is because we are interested in finding out the sun. So this is the sun. This is how does the sky look like at the current time. Okay, and here you'll see it does have the different uh, the buttons here, this is with atmosphere. Now, if there were no atmosphere, this is how it should look like. It would look like without atmosphere, and this is with atmosphere. And now, let's say you are interested in finding out the sunrise time in January 21st. What time was the sunrise? In order to do that, go to this time window and this is showing the, the match and here I will change it to January. January and then I'm going to set it to 21st. Alright, and now the time, the time here, let me track my object. Okay, so you, you, you don't see the sun right now because here I have turned the atmosphere on now if I turn off the atmosphere then you see the Sun is somewhere so now let's say that oh, it's seven here I'm setting this Sun that uh, this is in the morning time so how do I find the exact location uh, exact sunrise time what I would like you to point it out here you see the it does have the two corners azimuthal coordinates and altitude code altitude what does this code tell you so this altitude, when the sun is rising, just at the sunrise, the sun is at the horizon. At the time, this coordinate has to be zero coordinate. So we're going to change the time such that this altitude becomes zero. Remember, at the sunrise or sunset, the sun is just at the horizon and the altitude is equal to zero. Let's see how close we can make it to zero. Here I'm changing it to, you see it is now minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one. Now the sun is almost, this is the closest, I think, this is the closest. So seven, I think, 750. So at this time, the 750, uh, you see the 7.50 is the, the sunrise time on, Ju on uh, January 21st. So just take a note and then you also have uh, what you need to do now. You have to plot the graph. So you, you might have seen this table. So just record this time here. 
and this one was 748 and if you, and I have recorded this time right here 748 and this is in Odisha I, I think 50 I think it was 50 and then you can also use the the Googles to find out this time as well so if I use the uh, you can just type in here sunrise time in Odisha then this gives you the oops this gives you your uh, the sunrise time so this two times has to be very very close now so the same way now you can let's point it out on future time 11 21st what you have to do now open this one and now this one is 11 11 and then again this is make it let me make it close to zero Seven twenty-five. That's the lowest I, I, I could get it. This at this point the altitude is zero. This is on November twenty-first. So just write it down here. What was it again? Seven twenty-six. Seven twenty-six. Okay. So you see this is very very close. Two minutes close. And the difference here again. Uh, this is the two minutes difference. And this difference could be coming from the different positions okay so this is how you going to measure the sunrise time at the different um, at one location you just have to change the time and then set the the time such that the altitude is close is zero the same way you can measure the sunset how do you measure the sunset for the sunset you have to just let's say at five probably then you have to um, let me do it 11 to go okay and now you see at this point it's a 626 and the altitude is minus eight so I have to make it close to zero so no, it's going up. No. Okay, so 5.45 on November 21st is the sunset time. So you can record all this time here. The sunset time is 5.45. 5.45. And the Google Google says, or I can just write down 17:45. So just see, so you see the the two minute difference is just coming from because the Google chooses one location, and here you have chosen one location. So there could be a time offset. But this is how you're going to measure the sunrise and sunset. And again, if you have any questions, please write your questions in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.